The budget heads of the Ministry of Water Supply, the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Irrigation and Water Resource Management were taken up for debate in Parliament today. Here are some of the views that were expressed during the debate. Dear Minister, I need to ask you where the farmer societies are. They have become politicized. This is not a criticism. I was strict about the management of water. I gave farmer societies responsibilities. There were rains. If we manage this water, then not only the Kala River, we could have saved this rainwater and used about 80% of it to cultivate. But there is no proper management. <laughs> Since water from the Irnavadu tank is being taken to Jaffna, we feel that a dispute might arise between Jaffna and Kilnochi in the future. Due to this, the people of Kilnochi are facing serious issues. The Elephant Pass water project can be used as a solution to the water crisis in Jaffna. This can also be rectified by renovating the Sundikulam tank. He talked about, uh, about the Irnavadu scheme. There are no any fear, no any uh, damage to the Kilnochi people. Uh, taken from the Irnamadu, uh, Irnamadu water through the Jaffna because now we are going to allocate the more than 20,000 million uh, we are going to uplift the tank more than 5 feet then that is the excess water only we are going to supply to the bringing water to the Jaffna people same project we already done in the Unichai, Eastern province we, we already uplift the uh, 5 feet uh, Unichai tank and we are supplying the 300,000 people uh, drinking water in particular district. There are no any harmful for the Unniche uh, farmers. They created the Murugakanda water project, but there is no water in it. Then they built the Kaluganga project, and there is no water there as well. Then they bring the water from Randanigala to the Kaluganga. The water being brought to Randanigala was diverted to the Umaya. You should provide an explanation to this. The USA agreed to provide funds through the Millennium Fund to construct the Murugakanda project. But after the feasibility study, they abandoned it. Kuwait decided to fund it, but they too withdrew after the feasibility study. Now they have struck a deal with the Chinese government. Please disclose the deal that was reached along with the interest rates to parliament because you are dealing with public funds. <laughs> Moraga Kanta commenced with funds from the government. We are glad that we received 252 million US dollars from China. We cannot state that tanks run dry during times of drought like Anrudh Sanayaka says. We also need to provide water to people in Vaunia and such areas through the Yan Oya. We commenced it with local funds. Along with the Yan Oya project, we will also consider the Greater Mahavali plan as well. <laughs> Still in news from the parliament, UNP Deputy Leader Sajid Premadasa questioned the usage of fingerprint scanners to mark the attendance of hospital staff. Deputy Minister of Health Lalit Disanayaka responded to the query. Angeli Salakunu Yantra Desiya Tishayak Anvum Karala. 236 fingerprint scanners were ordered. However, only eight have been set up. 236 scanners have been purchased using public funds and state money. But only eight have been installed and the country is suffering a loss because of this. Isn't it better to spend money to ease the shortage of drugs rather than spending it on unwanted items like fingerprint scanners? <laughs> 14 billion has been set aside for free health through this budget. This decision was based on a management policy. If the people who are in this service take steps to use this equipment, then it won't be a waste.